Guys, right now we're at one of my favorite flipping spots. This is a spot where I've caught speckled kings, milk snakes, Texas rat snakes, you name it. They're all found around here. And there's a whole bunch of trash laid out here. As you can see, this piece right here is plastic, but it does every bit as well as, uh, you know, pieces of wood, lumber, anything like that that you usually flip snakes under because they can thermoregulate underneath here. So let's flip this baby up and see what we can find, okay? Uh, Ori. Yo, what? Uh, you got some on your back, dude. <laughs> No, he's, he's on your back. I don't see anything. What? He's right in the center of your back. What is it? Some sort of, some sort of tarantula. Daggum tarantulas on my back? And what kind of tarantulas do we have around here? Uh, I don't see it. Oh, he's moving up. Uh, how high is he? Now one thing about the snake guys is we normally don't like spiders. So right now I'm in kind of a peculiar spot. Where the crap is he, dude? He's in the center of your back. Oh my gosh. Where's she at? I can't find her. Higher. Higher? I can't even reach my hand to take <laughs> him high. Let's see if I can't get her to move. See if you can get her to move on my hand. Oh, I can feel her now. She's on my shoulder blades. See if you can get her to come up on my shoulder. <gasps> Ooh, I can see her leg. Woo! Up, oh, up, oh, she's going to my neck. Where's she going now? On the other shoulder. Oh, oh dear Lord. She was like, maybe I'll trust this guy. No, nope, not going to happen. Come on, girl. Where you at? Hey -o. All right, let's move this girl in some better light. I would like to show her off. Oh, man. All right, guys. Check out this girl. This is one of our many species of Texas tarantula. And uh, most of them are pretty dang hard to distinguish between one another. And especially for a guy like me, I mean, I study snakes. I know snakes, and snakes are far easier in my opinion. And this one looks like, though, to be a Texas brown tarantula. And it is pretty easy to tell she is a female as well. If you look, she does have long legs, but the males will be a lot leggier. They tend to have very, very long legs compared to the size of their body. Also, you can see one of the, the things that I notice about females is their abdomen. The back part of it, that big bulbous booty that they have, um, that thing tends to be huge on the females. And then also you'll notice at the front, Right here in front of her fangs, she's got these two little petty palps, these two little feeler-like legs. On a male, they will have this big bulbous end on the tip of them, whereas on a female, they're the same width as the legs. And also, males will have these little hooks on their front legs, but generally, these are only visible after they molt. And that's one thing they kind of share in common with snakes is their skin, or their exoskeleton in this case, doesn't really grow with them. So whenever they get to a certain size after eating, they tend to pretty much just split that skin, that exoskeleton, and that's called molting. And that's their way of basically growing. It's their way of getting new exoskeleton, having a harder new shell. But this also leaves them vulnerable because right after they molt this exoskeleton, this top part right here, their entire exoskeleton is pretty uh, permeable and other organisms can easily penetrate the hard exterior that gives them their kind of body armor. So uh, they kind of are a little bit at a disadvantage after they get done molting. But the good thing is it doesn't take very long for it to harden up and they'll be on their way. You can see she has got some massive fangs on her. I mean, if you take a copperhead and compare her to uh, this tarantula that we have right here, this girl's fangs are probably every bit as big, if not bigger, than a copperhead. And she uses those fangs to of course bite her prey items. So she'll bite a hold of them, attack them. Generally they'll hold on to the prey item too and they'll sit there and chew. So they'll chew and work that venom in. Their venom does just like snakes. It digests the, the prey item that they're eating. And it kind of turns it into like a liquid soup. So then once they get this liquid soup meal, they'll just slurp it up. And when they slurp it up, they'll, there's barely anything left. If you see these girls actually eat, there's not much left of their prey at them after they get done. They're kind of pretty voracious eaters whenever they get hungry. I mean, I've seen these girls take on other tarantulas, snakes. I've seen them take on insects and uh, other arthropods, several other arthropods. 
but uh, awesome sticky legs. I can feel those little hooks stuck into me. Although they do have these sticky legs for climbing, they're generally not found in trees. These guys are pretty much wandering. The females don't wander as far as the males, which is why I'm amazed that I, I found this girl. The males during breeding season, they'll just walk and they'll walk their butts off in search of a woman. But uh, absolutely awesome spider. I typically am not the biggest spider guy. I mean, you don't see me just going around grabbing spiders, but I mean, how can you not grab this girl? I mean, this is a, a pretty sweet tarantula. It's cool to see this big walking behemoth spider that uh, actually has a pretty good disposition, is real friendly, and uh, the males are the exact same way. They're, they're pretty laid back. Awesome tarantula. And this is about the adult size that they get to. They really don't get too much bigger than this. They, they say about a three to a four inch length from leg to leg. And then also you can see right there at her butt, she's got her spinnerets. So just like other spiders, she can spin a web. And she doesn't use this web necessarily for making big elaborate pieces for catching insects. She uses it more as a trigger system because these girls will live underground or inside little tiny burrows and they'll spin that web on the outside of their burrow. And then that way whenever an insect or some prey item walks over it, it kind of tricks it and she'll feel the vibrations coming off of it and she can jump out, grab a hold of it, eat it and start preying on the food item. So awesome spiders, very effective predators and uh, we're gonna have to let her go on her way because uh, I don't want to keep her, I mean I want to let her go out in the wild. But uh, praise God for this girl. I mean man this is a cool thing, definitely not something you get to see every day and it's awesome that they're right here in the state of Texas. I mean Texas has some really cool animals. Not only do we get to find a ton of snakes but freaking awesome spiders like this. So we'll let her go on her way. Here you go girl. See if I can get her on the grass. Or, excuse me, pine straw. Look at how well she blends into this pine straw. You would never even see her. Later, girl.